Welcome back. Live at 5. Great pleasure to have Joe Siegelman with us tonight running for Attorney General. Great to have you with us. Ben, great to be with you. You're on a, a little bit of a wiregrass tour today uh, of sorts. Uh, where all have you been today? Elba, Ozark, was in Andalusia earlier, uh, coming from Mobile the day before. And, uh, you know, there's no way for me to get my message across without looking people in the eye, shaking their hand, and letting them know what I'm about and that um, I'm authentic and genuine and that I care about what's going on in their lives. You have to, to be with people for them to, to see that. Yeah, absolutely. You sat back uh, like anyone does, looked at the political landscape and said, yeah, I can do this. Ran for attorney general on a Democratic ticket. Uh, what helped you make up your mind to do this? Well, I, I don't view my run for attorney general as uh, anything really political at all. In fact, I view the attorney general's office, frankly, as the one office that should be a non-political, non-partisan office. You know, your job is to apply the law fairly, equally, and impartially to all Alabamians, and you can't do that job without having the mindset of independence. And so uh, it doesn't matter whether you've got an R next to your name or a D next to your name. It can't matter because then you're not going to be doing the job that you're required to do. Gotcha. Uh, for folks at home who may not know you, Dad is Don Siegelman, who is the governor of Alabama. Politics can be cutthroat. No one knows this better than you. Uh, <laughs> you know, once at a, at a top state level office, after seeing what all your dad went through, uh, to jump in like this, did that motivate you uh, to to do something like this? Well, like I said, I, I growing up as as Don Siegelman's son, I, I early on, uh, and from my mother as well, I, you know, I was it was instilled in me that. Um, you know, that I needed to make a commitment to the public good, and that was how I was raised. But I made the decision early on that, that politics and holding elected office just wasn't for me. There are other ways to serve. Uh, but like I said, I think the Attorney General's office is different. You know, it's the one office that uh, should be separate from that. And we have, we have so many issues facing our state from, from this opioid epidemic that's getting worse and worse by the day. We learned that Alabama had an increase in overdose deaths over the last year. You know, protecting our parents and grandparents from, from fraud and abuse, especially in the age of cybercrime, protecting our, our children uh, in school and in their communities, and the list goes on, and none of these issues are partisan issues. And, um, and that's what attracts me to the Attorney General's office. Well, and, yeah, and you're absolutely on point there, too. I, w I was driving uh, down 231 South today, coming out of Troy in Pike County. Uh, your billboard said, people, not politics. Is that really the platform there that you're running on? Is well, it's, and it's, it's, it's more than just a slogan, and, and it is. It's exactly what my campaign is about and what I want to bring to the Attorney General's office. I'm a civil rights attorney, and what I get to do each and every day is represent individuals, people, families, working people. And it's that passion and commitment that I want to bring to the Attorney General's office, along with a mindset and attitude of independence, is being about people, not politics, and making sure that every decision, every decision that's made out of the Attorney General's office is for the benefit of the people of Alabama and that that's the only reason. I got one more for you, then we're out of time. You got some ground to cover from the, from the primary races. Uh, the Republican ticket, roughly 550,000 votes. Democrat side, 250,000 uh, in that ballpark. So you got a pretty big gap there. How do you plan to, to overcome that by next by November? Well, I think I think the majority of people in this state are ready to see a new generation of leadership. You know, one that cares about people, not politics. And like I said, you know, I may be running and have a D beside my name, but this is the one office that should be independent. And I think that uh, the people of Alabama are tired to ha of having to wonder whether their government is working for them, having to ask questions about whether a decision that was made out of the Attorney General's office was made because it was in the best interest of the people of the state or whether it was made for a personal or political reason. And that's what I offer that's different is that I'm going to be about people, not politics. I'm going to bring independence to the office, which I think is what is desperately needed. Joe Siegelman, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, appreciate you coming by. Best wishes to you uh, next month in November, and of course, anytime in Dothan, we invite you to stop by. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. Great so being much. with you. We appreciate it.